on a date with someone new. And she's not just a pretty face, she's got substance. As you engage in conversation, you notice something intriguing. She varies animated discussion with thoughtful silences. You're not used to this. You're accustomed to constant chatter and noise, but here's someone who knows when to speak and when to be silent. And it's driving you crazy, in a good way. Her silence isn't awkward, it's intriguing. You find yourself wanting to fill those silences with your own words, but you stop and listen instead. And in those silences, you discover a deeper connection. That's the power of silence, my friend. It's a skill that sets her apart, and it's a skill you can harness too. Today, we're going to delve into the ancient wisdom that can make your interactions, like this unforgettable date, something extraordinary. Stay with me, because in this video, I will go over six lessons about silence from the ancient wisdom and how to apply these lessons in your life today. These lessons are your key to success, better relationships, and a richer life. The last lesson on silence might cause some resistance, so I welcome your thoughts and comments. Silence is your ticket to leveling up, and I'm here to show you how, so let's get started. Lesson 1. Silence isn't weakness. Silence is safer than speech. Epictetus. It's not about being scared to speak. It's choosing when to never assume that being loud is strong and being quiet is weak. It's usually quite the opposite. Let's imagine a possible scenario. Your co-worker's blaming you for a screw-up. You could get defensive, but you don't. You let him vent. Then, when he's done, you lay out the facts. Just the facts. Cool and calm. Or this. You're at a bar, and some guy starts mouthing off at you trying to provoke a fight. You could throw back insults, escalate it, but you don't. You just look at him. Then, calmly. Lesson 2. Silence can help you evolve. I stay silent to understand myself. Buddha. Ancient thinkers spent years in silence, just reflecting. Now, I am not telling you to go on a silent retreat tomorrow, but when you prioritize your time in a way that allows you to be silent and alone for some time, you're allowing yourself to hear your thoughts, your inner voice, and that inner voice can guide you towards a decision you're trying to make, for example. Quiet moments also foster creativity. Ideas need silence to grow. This ability to focus silently will always give you a strong, competitive edge in life. Silence is your path to personal growth, transformation, and a deeper connection to the world. Want to know yourself better? Start by being quiet. One more thing to consider. Ancient philosophers understood that staying silent had the power of calming your mind. Today's chaos needs that old-school peace. Lesson 3. Silence can bring respect. Wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools because they have to say something. Plato. People respect those who speak less but say more. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. Before you open your mouth, ask yourself these three simple questions. Is it valuable? Is it necessary? And will it make a difference? Are you afraid of silence? That fear is the true weakness. Those who blabber endlessly, their words are empty, meaningless. But when you master silence, you sharpen your focus. It's about quality of your communication. We can all think of at least one person in our lives, especially at work, who is always going on and on about something. People like this are truly afraid of silence. Eventually, you just learn to tune them out. Now imagine for a second, they are saying something of consequence. How likely are you to immediately trust the information they are imparting? Here's something else to consider. A silent person can be a mystery, and that's intriguing. People respect what they can't easily figure out. Lesson 4. Silence can be the best tool in negotiations. The best answer to anger is silence. Marcus Aurelius. In negotiations, this principle can be vital for de-escalating tension and maintaining composure. Using silence unnerves others and gives you control. When you're silent, you hold the cards close to your chest. You let the other side squirm, wonder, and eventually break the silence first. They will always reveal their hand, and this will leave you in the position of power. Remember in the negotiation game, the first one to talk 
loses. Lesson five, silence guards your goals. Silence is a true friend who never betrays Confucius. Do you know why so many people share their plans, sometimes even with strangers? Low self-esteem. That's really the key reason they crave that validation from people who might not even care about them or their success. If you truly want to achieve goals you set, do this silently. Because when you build quietly, critics can't target what they can't see. A great benefit, especially if you have that low self-esteem problem and negative comments of others might detour you. So guard your dreams. They don't need to be shared with the world on social media. You don't owe anyone a play-by-play -play of your life. The closer you get to real success, the less you'll feel like shouting about it. Lesson six, silence can strengthen relationships. Better to trip with the feet than the tongue. Zeno. Listening requires staying silent when the other person speaks. It also requires that you offer your opinion only when asked. If you can be that kind of a listener, you will always have a strong relationship, whether it's a friendship or a romance. For example, let's say your girlfriend's upset about something you did. She's letting it all out. You feel like interrupting, defending yourself, but you don't. You listen, really listen. When she's done, you acknowledge her feelings, no excuses. Or how about this? At a family dinner, your younger brother's talking about his plans after high school, and they're way out there. I mean, the kid sounds like he has no idea how this world works. You want to jump in, but you hold back. You let him share his dreams. Because guess what? Years from now, when your kid brother actually achieves all of his dreams you thought were crazy, you guys will still have a great relationship. I hope you can take these lessons from the ancient wisdom to heart and improve your life. Please subscribe for more content like this. And, as always, stay well.